Ryan Saddles are here with Broadcast Beat Magazine, and as we ramp up for the 2016 NAB show, we like to talk about the evolution of different types of technologies. One of those technologies is distributing video. So think about how hotels, high schools, nightclubs, those types of environments distribute uh, you know, many video signals into their facilities. And I've got Bob Michaels, the CEO of ZV. How you doing, sir? Fine, Ryan. Uh, great to be here, and thanks for the opportunity. Thanks for coming. So tell us about ZV and how you guys got started. Well, we started about eight years ago. And if you think back eight years ago, technology was somewhat different than it is today, obviously. At the time, you were, it, we were just being able to bring video onto your laptop or onto your uh, desktop computer. And we thought, boy, it would be great to have a way to bring that into the home. That, that is, to be able to broadcast what was on your laptop, that very small screen, uh, out to all the televisions in your house using the existing coax network. And so uh, basically, uh, in, in a corporate type of environment, if you're distributing video, you would basically have your uh, transmitter and receivers, right? Actually, you don't need a receiver. The, one of the great things about this type of technology, uh, RF-based uh, technology, is that you can have all of your equipment in one place, whether it be a closet, um, on some table somewhere in the back room, wherever it might be, and it can be a computer, it, it can be uh, a set-top box from a, from a cable provider or a satellite provider, or it can be a media player for, for your own uh, uh, corporate content. We feed that into one of our products and effectively create a new channel for each one of, of, of those pieces of content. And from there, we're able to broadcast out to as many televisions that would be on that coax network. Now, one of the great things here is that since every TV has a tuner, and in North America, they're all Qualm tuners, mm -hmm. we don't need any equipment at the television. We are able to take a piece of coax and just connect it directly to the TV. So it's obviously very affordable to do something like this. Oh, very, very cost effective. You guys are distributing on multiple uh, technologies, right? Yes, yes. And, and what are some of those technologies? Uh, well, we're able to, as, as we just discussed a bit, uh, able to broadcast over RF, and that's an unlimited number of uh, television sets in a network. Uh, from there, uh, we've, we've evolved, and, and now we're able to broadcast video out over category cable, Okay, like uh, some other companies are able to do this. And in addition to this, now we've just introduced a, an entire new range of products that we're able to distribute over fiber. Okay, and I, I know somebody in a high school environment, uh, the technology director, and basically... They've got multiple cable boxes, so they bring in, you know, say, Channel 10, the local Channel 10, and they route it to Channel 3, basically, yes. and another one in Channel 4, whatever, and then they even have their own television network in the high school, and so they distribute another channel. That's kind of what's going on, right? You're basically mapping channels, but through your head-end hardware. We are mapping channels and, and combining channels, okay? So if that in-house station was Channel 2, for example, okay, any classroom... Uh, that turned onto Channel 2 would have that content playing. So if you had to broadcast to the entire school at one time, it's easy. You instruct everybody to turn onto Channel 2, and out it comes. Oh, that's excellent. All right, cool. Well, again, the CEO of ZV, Bob Michaels, thank you so much for spending some time with us today. Sure, Ryan. Thank and, you. of course, we're going to see you at the 2016 NAB Absolutely. show. Absolutely.